Making props out of foam is one thing, but if you're trying to make something like armour, you'll often need to be doing things like bending the foam and, and adding strange curves to the material that you otherwise wouldn't need to do. In this video, I'm going to be covering a few of the basic ways to achieve that. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a beautiful day for cosplay and prop making. I'm Anthony at Chaos Rogue Designs and today I'm going to be giving you a simple guide, just a quick guide on how I would go about trying to shape foam if I was going to be making something curved. So a good example for this would be something like an elbow piece. That's the example that I'll be using. Uh, but that being said, you can use uh, this kind of video for anything. I mean, I've used the same techniques for a shoulder piece that I'm making. Um, this isn't painted yet, but you get the idea. So it kind of curves and it will sit on my uh, sit on my shoulder about about here. <laughs> um, but uh, it's got a, it's got a nice steep curve to it. The camera's reversed, all right. Leave me alone. But uh, yeah, so you can see how we've kind of got about achieving a, a nice rounded shape there. So yeah, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I would do this on a smaller scale. So just a kind of example elbow piece. Um, but you can use these techniques for just about anything. Uh, to be honest, uh, it's all pretty simple stuff. Uh, but these techniques combined, you can make pretty much extreme a curve as you would want. Anyway, let's get into it. Alright, so this is my shoulder temp, uh, elbow template even, <laughs> this is very basic, but what I'm doing right now is just heating the foam up a little bit, um, just to kind of get the fight out of it, so it's always easier to bend foam when it's heated, and this is one of the few ways you can kind of get that bend to stay, so heat up your material first, and um, we'll go about just trying to shape it. Now what I'm going to be trying to do is just trying to force a curve from left to right into this. It's also worth pointing out as well, I'm using high density foam, this is 5mm thick uh, CF100 from Polyprop, so it's quite stiff stuff. But what I'm doing now is just holding the foam curved and it will hold that shape more as it cools down. Just like so. Now you also have to bear in mind that through time, this material can sometimes try and go back to the way it was. You can either just heat it up a few times and hope it sticks or you can add a sort of reinforcing bar like I'm doing here. So this is the same material, five millimeter thick, high density foam. And all I'm gonna be doing with this is just heating it up much like we did with the elbow piece itself. And then I'm gonna be curving this piece as well. So I'm just gonna be trying to just, again, get the fight out of the material and just try and get a nice bend in it, something that I'm happy with and a shape that I would want the elbow piece to stay in. I think that looks about right. All right, now next up, I'm gonna be sticking this bar to the back of the uh, elbow piece. I'm just gonna like draw around it with a Sharpie just so I don't get contact adhesive all over the place. And then really all we're gonna do with this stuff is just add some contact adhesive to the back of the bar and to the back of the prop as well. Also, like my contact adhesive is really runny as you can see there. If yours is getting a bit clumpy, I have actually made a really good video about how to kind of fix that. There is a couple of products that you can use. Well, there's actually just one product you can use, but uh, I'll leave a link to that one in the description because having contact adhesive that is thin and runny like this is just so much easier to use. All right, well now that's dry, I've left it about five minutes. I'm just gonna kind of stick this down now. Uh, trying to get this under the camera was actually really hard to aim, so uh, that bar has gone in a bit of an angle, but it really doesn't matter too much. You do get the idea, hopefully. So the bar having a slight curve uh, in turn keeps the elbow piece and uh, above it uh, with a curve as well. It just kind of helps to keep everything together. You can also heat it up at this point if you wanted. Uh, just bend it all in a little bit more, but this will really help the piece keep its shape, especially if it's a little bit smaller like this. Alright, so that's really, really cool if you're trying to get a, a piece with just curves to either side. 
So now what happens if I want to give the piece not just curves from left to right, well, what if I also want to give it one uh, at the top and maybe even the bottom as well? So let's just try this. I'm going to heat the foam up and we're going to try and bend it. So I'm just going to give this just a little bit of an extra blast just to kind of really get to all the fight out of it. I want this to be as spongy as we can get it. All right, well, shouldn't be too difficult to do the sides. We've done this before. Ah, now that's a problem. So when we bend from left to right and then we go from top to bottom, it pushes the bends out. So doing it this way just with heat is not going to work. If you have very thin foam, you can kind of get it to work, but this is quite thin. This is only five millimeter thick and uh, yeah, that's not going to cut it. Now, nice thing about foam, when you use heat, you can use it to bend. You can also use it to put it back. So if you've done something like this, it's not ruined. You can just heat the foam up and it's all going to work again. Uh, right. So what we're going to do, I still have the blueprint for this. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it, sort of fold it in half and then put a little bit of a notch in it. Now, depending on how kind of uh, deep angled this notch is, how big the notch is, this will dictate how uh, curved the piece will be. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to trace that notch onto the foam and then we're just going to cut it out. So you've, we've got a sort of slit missing, a little bit like a, a pizza piece. And now with the pizza piece, all I'm going to do is kind of add some contact adhesive to this. Just make sure it comes out all right. Yep, there we go. And so like I said, this is going to give a very slight curve. If that piece was wider, the curve would be even more severe. Um, but uh, yeah, let me just add a bit of glue to this. I got it in camera this time. We're also going to do the same thing as before. Just leave this, leave this about five minutes or so to dry. It shouldn't need any more than that. I've also noticed with this sort of thing, if the contact adhesive is getting a little bit lumpy, it doesn't quite stick as well as you might want it for this. So having fresh contact adhesive or at least thinned down contact adhesive really works wonders for this. Uh, but anyway, it's been about five minutes now. So all I'm going to do is just push these together. Now I won't be able to push them together unless the foam is curving in the process because it's missing a bit, of course. Now that little slit that I took out isn't that big, but I didn't really want the curve to be too severe. We're just pushing these together. Just take your time, make sure everything lines up. And just put a good bit of pressure on each side of the foam. But once those are together, that's not going anywhere. And we have a really nice subtle curve from top to bottom. Also, mine came out quite well, um, but if you ever get the foam pieces a little bit sort of out of alignment, um, you can just dremel the front if you need to. But now those bits are together, I can now use the heat gun to put the uh, the curve back into the sides as well and that top bend will not change so we, we've used a kind of notch to get the bend at the top and the old-fashioned way to do it uh, to get the side panels as well and you can of course mix them together if you want to add a reinforcement part of this you can as well all right now there are plenty of other ways you can go about shaping foam trying to get ridges in things like that i've not really covered those in this video i just wanted to sort of just really just lightly touch on this and give a few basics without making the video too long or too overwhelming um something we will probably look at in the future though uh but just for now I, I, honestly you should be able to make most shapes that you would want with these kinds of techniques if you let's say you're trying to make something like a like a helmet uh, you'll probably want to be making that out of separate pieces that you have also separately curved But honestly helmet building is probably the hardest thing you're going to be doing uh, with foam in my opinion uh, and Yeah, time and a place. We'll look at that again someday Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something useful uh, if you did uh, Please like the video. I'm trying to get a bit of traction on the platform So a like would be appreciated uh, and subscribe if you're new around here as well for more awesome prop making and cosplay content. Until next time, take it easy.